150 years ago, Ames was not the city we see today. Original Main Street was extremely muddy, and at one time they actually had to put extra um, wood beneath the sidewalks because they would fall completely out of sight in the mud. And there were also duck ponds and frog ponds near the depot. And so you can definitely tell that it was a swampland at the beginning. In 2014, we celebrate Ames' sesquicentennial. But before town, there had to be railroads. 150 years ago, um, the country was in the middle of the Civil War. And one of President Lincoln's plans for reuniting the country after the war was to build the transcontinental railroad system. Iowa sat in the center of the growing nation, and the rail system played a crucial role in the future location of Ames. Settlers that were moving west needed supplies and um, building materials, and so the train system really helped that. And since so many of the tracks went through Iowa, that made a difference to where Ames was. Plans for the Iowa State Agricultural College, later Iowa State University, had begun by 1858. However, it was not until 1863 that railroad engineer John Inslee Blair came to Iowa. He and uh, Massachusetts Congressman Oakes Ames met in Chicago in 1863 and then traveled westward into Iowa. Uh, they came as far as the railroad line went, which at that time was Marshalltown, and then traveled by stagecoach further west looking for the path of the railroad as it forged west towards Council Bluffs. So uh, in 1863, they traveled into what is now Ames and chose this location as a place for a future depot. That depot put the town just two miles from the college, but the men couldn't have picked a less hospitable spot. Actually, prior to all of this, the land had been transferred to the county by the federal government because it, they thought it was unusable swamp land. To make matters worse, Blair needed land from local settlers Isaac Black and Lucian Hoggett for track right-of-way. Neither would sell. Black and Hoggett didn't want the railroad running so close to their farms because railroads are loud and noisy and big, and so um, they said no. But then Blair went to another early resident, Cynthia Duff, who had moved here in 1863 with her husband from New York State and asked her to go to the men and buy the land instead. And so she told Hoggett and Black that she was buying the land for her uncle coming from the east, and then the uncle turned out to be the railroad. In return for her help, Duff wanted the new town to be named Onondaga after her home county in New York. But Blair decided to name the town after his friend Oaks Ames instead, which is how we have some streets named after Cynthia Duff. So that's where we get Duff Avenue, um, Main Street used to be named Onondaga until 1910, and Kellogg was her maiden name. Blair ordered the platting of Ames near the new depot on December 17, 1864. Twelve blocks made up the original town. In 1870, Ames citizens voted to incorporate as a village. The mud didn't seem to stop anyone, and Main Street became populated with businesses fairly quickly. By 1876, there were 50 businesses in town, including um, blacksmiths, jewelry stores, doctors. Ames was no longer marshland. After platting Ames, John Inslee Blair continued across Iowa, platting such towns as Boone, Scranton, Ogden, and Blairsburg. Though an influential railroad investor, Oakes Ames never saw the town for which he was namesake. His survey of the depot location in 1863 was his first and last visit. After that, he never came back. So he never actually set foot in the city of Ames once it was platted. Ames's work, however, outlasted his visits. Well, what we're celebrating this year for the sesquicentennial is that platting of Ames in 1864. And then, of course, we're also celebrating the, the people, the decisions, the businesses, organizations that happened since that platting. So we're celebrating the last 150 years of Ames history. Celebrations include extensive July 4th activities and Dinky Day on September 26th. The grand celebration takes place on December 17th. December 17th, 1864 was the day that the first plat was drawn. On the 150th anniversary, we plan to have activities in those first 12 blocks. 12 blocks that became Ames, a community begun 150 years ago and a community that we still celebrate.
To learn more about the Ames Sesquicentennial Celebration, visit Ames150.com. Curious about Ames history? Check out the Ames History Center at 416 Douglas Avenue, or stop by the Ames Public Library to explore its archives. And keep watching Ames Channel 12, your key to the city.